Okay guys, so this is a ceiling update. As you can see, the cucumbers were up potted. These were actually planted on January 28th. I took them out of the seed starting trays and up potted them. And this is how they're looking. Also, I did also get some uh, growing lights. These are full spectrum lights. Um, and I just, the, what do you call these? <laughs> uh, whatever you call these ties, um, came with the lights and they were easy to install um, just by tying them to the top of the rack. You can adjust them to whatever height you want um, beyond, I guess this will come down if I got more twist ties. Um, they will come down even longer um, or you could use whatever else you want to um, to lower them or raise them. But yeah, these came with the actual lighting. And also this doesn't get hot. So I don't have to worry about it, um, tying it too close to the rack. This is a stainless steel rack. So yep, doesn't get hot. It's cool to the touch. Gives off plenty of light. Also comes with a dimmer uh, on and off switch. And it's got uh, dimmers for 10 settings. And I brought these on Amazon. They're kind of cute, aren't they? They give off a lot of light. And like I said, they're full spectrum. And let me show you the box for the Garden Geeks. Hold on. Okay, so this is the box. Um, there's four panels that come in this box. And I believe I paid like $20 for this. Um, but these are the numbers. So as you can see, I'm getting full spectrum, like 6,000 K, um, 40 Watts, which, uh, I believe it's the range should be, uh, no less than 20. Um, and the best range is between 20 and 40 Watts. So good there. Um, and it comes with four panels and as you can see the connection is here. So I just lined them up this way so it's easier because the cord, um, just if you're going to think about purchasing this or something similar, you got to make sure that it can reach the connection because this is where the division stops. It's not much room. So I just kind of put them um, facing each other so that I can make sure that I can connect all four panels. Yep. And so, yep, happy with these. They're working well, as you can see. Um, ceilings are doing okay. I need to up pot these when I get a chance. I am not worried about it. This is a hobby, so yep, not gonna stress about it. Um, I did wanna show you the Dollar Tree herbs are doing okay. Um, one thing did not germinate well, and that is the Dollar Tree spinach, but everything else is looking good. I took the dome off, and I am watering it from the bottom, and they are looking okay. Bok choy, I'll pot some of those. Um, not sure. We're going to see if these going to make it, but um, yeah, I just up potted them into a a little small container we'll see what happens but these were planted on january 24th and what i really wanted to show you guys today is um we did a comparison on the dollar tree parsley and two other companies so yeah i hope you can see that but um these are the packets that we use we use we want to see which one of these parsleys would germinate the fastest. And we had a Dollar Tree. We had um, this one, Valley Green. And we had the Garden Pack. And we did all three at the same time. And this is the results. So, okay, Valley Green took off. And then we have Garden Pack. And these are seeds that I got on Amazon. Um, this parsley from the Dollar Tree in the back here, mm, nothing, absolutely not a nothing. But look at the other two. 
planted at the same time. So yeah, I don't know. Has anyone else had any success with Dollar Tree parsley seeds? Um, these two, perfectly fine. They look like they're thriving. Look at how many leaves they got on them. I'm gonna up plant these this week also. Yep, they are looking good and healthy and strong. And Mike, I did get a fan, so let me show you that. Mike from Chaotic Garden said, make sure you um, are using a fan so that they stay strong and um, a little bit wind resistant to keep them from being leggy and too weak. So Mike, uh, thank you for that tip. I did have that in mind, but I didn't do it. So <laughs> Mike reminded me, yeah, put the fan on there. So I have a DeWalt, um, well, this isn't DeWalt. This is a fan I got from Amazon, but it uses a DeWalt uh, battery, a uh, rechargeable battery. So I charge it up at night. And as you can see, it's still dark outside. So um, in a couple of hours, I'll put the uh, the battery back here. It's just a rechargeable uh, battery that I use with my power tools. And this is good. I've been using it. It just clamps right onto the uh, pole here. You can clamp it anywhere. Um, let me show you that. And it also oscillates and, and it's got several different um, settings that you can use. So there it is clamped on the back. It, like I said, it oscillates. It's got several different settings that you use by pushing this button here. And wow, <laughs> didn't have it clamped on there good. And it stays, it, it's not going anywhere until you move it. And I got that off of Amazon also. I'll let you see the brand of that. Okay, in case, let me pull it down. You probably couldn't see that. Um, Amazon. Yep. There you go. And so that's my update. Par Dollar Tree Parsley not doing so well. The other two brands looking good so far. You guys have a happy, happy week. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.